Um, ladies and gentlemen, I want to appreciate you all for the coverage of the read so far. Um, I just thought we need to share some ideas that uh, we have on the whole event. I'm here with my board members, but some of them are still on track. Uh, Gabriel Ocon, Professor, they are still busy working. So we have been a full team with us, but I think this is representative enough. We want to be as fast as we can so that we go back and continue on the event. Um, First of all, I want to thank Delta State Government for the magnanimity of hosting this event. We are all aware of how the bidding started, and you all know that the bidding right was given to a, a state, and unfortunately, there was a mix-up, and then Delta State came to the rescue. So our words from myself and the board, we don't have much to say than to say thank you very much for Delta, for putting Nigeria on the map. Even if they will gain by putting Asaba on the athletics map, but putting Nigeria again, yet again, on the map to host this. We're all aware on the last edition, the very last edition held in Nigeria. I'm sure a lot of journalists here were, were, were quite young for those that are, for those that are around. But we did it, and it is being concluded tomorrow. Yes, in every event there's up and, up and down, and uh, you can see everything is going smoothly so far. I had, have, I had time to go to the warm-up area to talk to other athletes, Nigerians as well as other countries' athletes, and I think they are in high spirits. So, thank you, Delta. Thank you. Please don't stop there. Do more because I can see consciousness of athleticism being instilled in young athletes and young, younger generations that will benefit from this. I want to also take time to thank all the countries that registered and attended this competition. So far from the last record we have, two countries registered and we are having very good participation from them. So I, 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 I thank all the countries for finding time to register and I think they do not regret being in Nigeria. We had the presence of Lord Cole, Lord Sebastian Cole. This is to tell you how important it is for this event to be held here. So the president of CA is here himself, and I think that brings the whole family to be on ground. So I say thank you to all this, the CA, the IWF, and of course, the Federation in Nigeria. Um, I've been asked several questions, but I think that's in another, for another forum. Lastly, I want to share with you some side talks that we were having two days ago. Uh, the CAA president held a dinner, for a farewell dinner for Lord Poe, because the president of the uh, IWA president was leaving the next day, which was yesterday. And some discussions were done. Part of it was that uh, Africa would be hosting the 2025 World Championship. It has never come to Africa, which we are all aware. So, and the CAA president is thinking six countries in Africa are prospective host sites. Uh, these talks have been going on for some months, and. I whispered to the Honorable Minister that I think we should go ahead. The board members feel this is a very huge step and we should bid for it. So
So I can confirm to you, we gave our intention to bid for 2025 for our budget. It is, uh, it's worth it. It's the first time it's coming to Africa. Abuja, is, Abuja Stadium is, is going to go under a renovation. Not for that purpose, but I, we want to take advantage of that. Um, new railway uh, trams have been put in Abuja, so transportation is not a problem. Uh, hotels definitely are not a problem in Abuja. So we think by 2025, Nigeria would have been really ready to host the world. If we are ready to host Africa in our suburb by 2018, with what you have all seen, by 2025, I believe we should be ready to host the world. So, um, with this few remarks, I say thank you all for finding time to hear us out. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, EFM President. And I, re I respectfully invite the chairman of the LOC, Mr. Silver to make a few remarks. Thank you.